Hi, hey, Sexy J. Quick and dirty time. Honestly, kind of miss you guys. And first of all, I want to say thank you to you guys for continuing to watch the videos, continuing to comment. And I also want to say sorry. I know we haven't been up to date with the uploads because we've been doing construction in the studio. This is the new studio. You guys probably can't tell. But we have a lot more content coming your way because it's the new year and it's also February, which means the digital SAT, first test official in the United States. And also for you international kids, I still haven't forgotten you guys. The first test of this year is March. So let's get to it, guys. So we're starting a new series in, within the Quick and Dirty for the rhetorical synthesis. Why? Because a lot of people have asked for it. And don't think I forgot, I am going to get to the transition questions as well. So with that out of the way, let's get to the Quick and Dirty. The rhetorical synthesis, as you guys know, is the last three, four, five questions, depends on the format. Right? But they are going to be the last questions on the reading and writing. And a lot of people have a lot of questions about these, like, this is so much reading I have to do. This is so different from the ACT, from the paper SAT. And it really is, but I just finished recording so many other videos because I'm also working on a course for you guys, right? Like 800 plus videos, they're on the way. So I have noticed so many more patterns that I really want to give to you guys, okay? So with this thing, you have to remember that the reading portion of the digital SAT is only in the first half of the module, okay? So that's questions one through 13 to 14-ish out of the 27 questions. So that means this one, being questions 25 through 27, is not supposed to be a reading question. That's good news, that means you guys don't really have to read, okay? So look at this example here, and this is very common. We just wanna isolate, what are we being asked for? So the student wants to present the primary aim of the research study. So we're going to go through multiple categories of the rhetorical synthesis, and this one is aim, okay, or goal, and you guys will see the other uh, synonyms, but this is, you guys can categorize why. Why did they do this research, okay? So that's all I want. And here's a little cheat, guys. You do not need to read the bullet points for elimination, okay? So I want to know why did they do this study in the first place? Because they wanted to discover something. There was something that we didn't know. We had to figure out something, okay? So look at all of these. A, this is just what they did. Okay. If this is the answer, the question will ask methodology, which we will do another video on. Okay. And then B, this is a result. Again, that's a separate video. Okay. And then this one, key word here, they wanted to better understand. Now, do I want you guys to do the test this quickly? Not necessarily because not yet. You guys are not as good as me, but you can almost be sure because as soon as I saw the word, wanted to better understand, or that phrase rather, and I see an answer tree is D, they found, okay? So let's actually compare them, okay? They found, and then they used, and um, as analyzed. Let's compare A, C, and A, B, C, D, all of them, right? A is again the methodology, that's just what they did. That is not the answer here. Look at B and D, that's the result. I don't want the results, okay? So when I have goal, aim, motivation, okay, that's what did they want to do before they did the experiment? It's C. They wanted to better understand. Now, notice how none of the other ones even talk about what they wanted. So I don't have to read any of this stuff. And I don't really even have to read the body here. I don't have to read the body here. If there were two answer choices that do mention what they wanted to do, only then would you examine the rest of the text. But I found out doing 800 plus videos, they really don't, okay? Which is great news for us, right guys? So, yay, okay? And also, yay, for the return of quick and dirties. That sounded not very PG-13. But anyway, so I have another one, okay? So this is the other example. This one we're going to go through a little more quickly. The student wants to emphasize the motivation. It's the same thing. It's, okay, what did they want to do, right? So I don't need to look at the text. I'm just going to scroll down for you guys here, okay? Oh, take a second, as always, to look at it. Pause it. You guys looked at it, right? Okay, so the motivation behind the work. Okay, so I need to know motivation. That's just what they wanted. So I'm gonna look, be looking for they desire, they were looking for, what do you guys think that is? Okay, is it A? No, that's a finding. Is it B? It's a, okay, you guys found it, right? What's the word? What's the word in answer tree C? Aims, that's it, okay? So to sum all of this up, if you guys are actually solving this according to my tips and strategies, it would take you like five seconds, okay? You would see, oh, the word motivation, aims, okay? Or the uh, previous one, aim, desires. That's it, okay? So to sum it up today on these um, rhetorical strategies, we're gonna do the whole series. But specifically, if they wanted, what did they wanna do before they did the research? 
there will be probably only one answer that even has a synonym for wanted to, they sought to, this is what they seeked, this is what they desire to find out. So long as you find out, that's it. You do not have to read, yay, okay? Um, as always, study every day with Zach CJ. So many more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.